Good morning. Good morning. Um, let, do you want to do the days of the week first? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do our shout outs? Or do you want to do shout outs first? And shout outs. Shout outs first. Okay. All right. So, a um, couple of shout outs this morning. The first I is. I have a good um, bed. A good bed. He means he slept well last night, right? Mm -hmm. You had a good night's sleep? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so my first shout out goes to Kevin in my class who um, finished his I Ready reading and math for the week with 100% accuracy. So all of the lessons that he did, he got 100% on. Say yay, Kevin! Yay, Kevin! Yay, Kevin! Yay, Kevin! And my next shout out is to Mayori who has completed her I Ready math for the week and also has 100% accuracy. Yay, Mayori! Yay! <laughs> all right, let's put our pom poms down. And can you start days of the week for us? Ready? Days of the week. 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 Go ahead. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Now, Dylan, look, if yesterday was Wednesday, what's today? Um, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Tuesday's here. Goes Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. Good job. And today Thursday. is... Thursday. Do you know what month it is? Um. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, and don't forget December. And this month is March. So today is Thursday, March, and I believe it's the 26th. And what's today? Today is Thursday, Thursday. March 26th. And our magnets and don't want to stay. What's today in December? December? Someone has a birthday in December. Who has a birthday in December? Um, Camilla. Come, no, Camilla's birthday's in March. Your birthday's in December, right? My birthday! <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> no, I just have... So today's book that we're going to read is by today, Eric Carle. Today it's I called The Tiny Seed. Today, um, and my I class can tell you that we've read some birthday. other Eric Carle books this I year. Have... Um, so if you're in my class at home watching, think about some of the other books we read by Eric Carle. And um, you can have your parents respond on the class dojo to tell me what Eric Carle books you remember we've read this year. Okay. You going to read with me? Okay. Let's sit down. Okay. All right. So this is called The Tiny Seed. By Eric Carl. Dylan, can you hold can you hold this side of the book for me? Oh, I'm gonna hold good, good job. All right, and just hold it steady so that you want me to hold it? Okay. It is autumn. A strong wind is blowing. It blows flower seeds high in the air and carries them far across the land. One of the seeds is tiny, smaller than any of the others. Will it be able to keep up with the others? And where are they all going? One of the seeds flies higher than the others. Up, up it goes. It flies too high and the sun's hot rays burn it up. But the tiny seed sails on with the others. Another seed lands on a tall and icy mountain. The ice never melts and the seed cannot grow. The rest of the seeds fly on, but the tiny seed does not go as fast as the others. Now they fly over the ocean. One seed falls into the water and drowns. The others sail on with the wind but the tiny seed does not go as high as the others. 
Can you find the tiny seed in the picture that's not going as high as the others? I'm taking care of my snake. You're taking care of the snake? That's very good. One seed drifts down onto the desert. It is hot and dry, and the seed cannot grow. Now the tiny seed is flying very low, but the wind pushes it on with the others. Finally, the wind stops and the seeds fall gently down on the ground. A bird comes by and eats one seed. The tiny seed is not eaten. It is so small that the bird does not see it. See if you can find the tiny seed. Tiny seed. Now it is winter. After their long trip, the seeds settle down. They look just as if they are going to sleep in the earth. Snow falls and covers them like a soft white blanket. A hungry mouse that also lives in the ground eats a seed for his lunch. But the tiny seed lies very still and the mouse does not see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. I like to hold it. Sure, go ahead. Thank you, sweetie. Hold it still very good so they can see it. Now it is spring. After a few months, the snow has melted. It is really spring. Birds fly by, the sun shines, rain falls. The seeds grow so round and full, they start to burst open a little. Now they are not seeds anymore. They are plants. First, they send roots down into the earth. Then their little stems and leaves begin to grow up toward the sun and the air. There's another plant that grows much faster than the new little plants. It is a big, fat weed. And it takes all the sunlight and the rain away from, the, from one of the small new plants. And then that little plant dies. But the tiny seed hasn't begun to grow yet. It will be too late. Hurry. But finally, it too starts to grow into a plant. Good job, Dylan. Thank you for helping. The warm weather also brings the children out to play. They too have been waiting for the sun in springtime. One child doesn't see the plants as he runs along and oh, he breaks one. Now it cannot grow anymore. The tiny plant that grew from the tiny seed is growing fast, but its neighbor grows even faster. Before the tiny plant has three leaves, the other plant has seven. And look, a bud, and now even a flower. But what is happening? First, there are footsteps. Then a shadow looms over them. Then a hand reaches down and breaks off the flower. Good job. Turn the page. Very good. A boy has picked the flower to give to a friend. Go ahead. Wait, let mommy read this page. It is summer. Now the tiny plant from the tiny seed is all alone. It grows on and on. It doesn't stop. The sun shines on it and the rain waters it. It has many leaves. Hold on, Dylan. I gotta read this page first. It grows taller and taller. It is taller than the people. It's taller than the trees. It's taller than the houses. And now a flower grows on it. People come from far and near to look at this flower. It is the tallest flower they have ever seen. It is a giant flower. Turn the page. Oh, we skipped one. Go ahead, turn that one. Good. <coughs> All summer long, the birds and bees and butterflies come visiting. They have never seen such a big and beautiful flower. Turn the page. Oh. <coughs> okay. Mommy, read this page. Now it is autumn again. The days grow shorter, the nights grow cooler, and the wind carries yellow and red leaves past the flower. Some petals drop from the giant flower, and they sail along the bright leaves over the land and down to the ground. The wind blows harder. The flower has lost almost all of its petals. 
It sways and bends away from the wind, but the wind grows stronger and shakes the flower. Once more, the wind shakes the flower, and this time the flower seed pod opens. Out come many tiny seeds that quickly sail far away in the wind. And then the tiny seeds journey starts all over again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you for helping, Dylan. Can you say goodbye to everyone? Say we'll see you later. Oh, no, we forgot to Oh, okay. We'll go back and check that out then. <laughs> See you guys later for shared Bye. reading. <laughs> and uh, later on this afternoon for math. And if you can, try to get some iReady and Lexi uh, time done on your computers. We'll see you later. Bye.